Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about a TV line article to do with the Arrowverse and the CW as a whole. As you guys know, recently there's been some big, big shakeups over at Warner Brothers and also the CW because they are being bought out and that buyout has actually gone through just recently. And so the owners of Nexstar, who just took over as a majority stakeholder of the CW, who is now basically in charge of the CW, has come out with some statements about the future of the CW. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so the title of the article we're going to be reading is Nexstar's plan for the CW includes targeting older viewers adding low cost unscripted programming. This was released about five days ago. It's gonna be in the link in the description below. Go check it out if you haven't read it already after this video. I'm gonna read through it bit by bit and break it down so it begins like this. The CW likely won't be a hub for broadcast TV's teen dramas anymore following its newly announced acquisition by Nextstar Media Group. During a conference call Monday, Nexstar President and Chief Operating Officer Tom Carter shared the company's strategy for making the CW profitable in the years to come, which will include content that appeals to an older audience that the CW has not previously targeted. He goes on to say that, as many of you are aware, the CW is currently the lowest rated broadcast network which we believe largely reflects the fact that its programming is targeted to an 18 to 34 audience demographic while the average age of the CW broadcast viewer is 58 years old, Carter Shed goes on to say, over time we'll be taking a different approach for our CW programming strategy though next starts acquisition network to the third fiscal quarter, the company will take over managing the CW immediately. Okay, so let's break this part down, what has Tom said and what has TV line said so apparently CW likely won't be a hub for broadcast TV's teen dramas anymore which the CW is known for it's known for the flash it's known for Riverdale it's known for shows in the past like supernatural like the vampire diaries it is their signature and now they're being bought out and taken over by next star they're wanting to get rid of what the CW is best at doing just because it isn't the most viewed network. And they say that it's currently the lowest rated broadcast network and they think it is reflective of, you know, how they target a younger audience. And they say that the older audience or the average audience is 58 years old. However, that is kind of irrelevant bringing up the average age because the CW, if you guys didn't know, only runs like two hours every night, sometimes like six nights a week of original programming, right, so you would have Flash, you would have Supergirl, you would have Arrow, you would have Legends of Tomorrow, all the other shows that are on, but in the day they would be showing reruns of other syndicated shows that, you know, maybe the CW hasn't created, it was, you know, something that another network created, but they just have the rights to show it, and so it's just shows that older people have on in the background. So that is the reason why he brings this up, because yes, maybe the audience for the whole day is a bit older, because younger people tend to be working in the day, and so don't have as much time to watch TV in the middle of the day and just have it on, and they don't really look at, you know, audience response or anything like that because the best audience response and the social media response actually comes from those scripted shows that come out in that two hour time slot between like seven to nine that they show pretty much most days. So this is just them neglecting what made the CW unique and now they're just looking at the strategy for trying to make the CW profitable like other networks and I don't know why he's comparing it to other networks like CBS. It's just not the same. That is not the CW strategy and the CW isn't as accessible in the US unlike these other networks like ABC or CBS or whatever. It's just not the same. And so I kind of get a little bit annoyed at him actually comparing it and being like, oh, you know, the average audience is aged 58 and we want to kind of create more content for 58 year olds and older people so let's create you know shows like those other syndicated ones i don't think the cw is going to be very good at that and it seems what they're hinting at is they want to start doing more 
unscripted shows, like, you know, random shows that you can play in the day, like game shows, seems that is the way that they want to take the CW forward. I don't know, in my opinion, that's just very funny that they want to really just cut back on the creativity, focus on making a bunch of money, and have that audience actually be the audience for the whole day rather than going for the younger audience in those two hours and basically not have the original programming so this does not spell well for the Arrowverse for the future because the new owners of the CW really don't care about storytelling the only thing that they clearly care about is having high quality syndicated programming so programming that they can rerun that they can show all day and programming that is okay for people to you know potentially watch while cooking or watch while being on the phone and not have something as interesting and as kind of involving as something like the flash where you like all week to week can't wait for the flash to come back and watch it no they don't care about that so it doesn't seem like the cw is going to be the home of the arrowverse for very long I read recently that apparently HBO Max is interested in working with Greg Berlanti more in the future, so potentially moving to HBO Max if Warner Brothers Discovery, who just took over Warner Brothers, doesn't want to get rid of HBO Max, let's really hope that HBO Max can be the new home of the Arrowverse after this big change happens at the CW because now they're fully in control of most of the programming and what is created so that means that they can totally cut back on everything else and that's what you've seen recently with all of the huge CW cancellations that's because their new owners don't care about it and if it's not profitable it's going away and so yeah the future for the CW is not looking good but they Go on to say this in the article. Carter also noted that in the near future, the CW will add more cost-effective unscripting programming and high-quality syndicated programming to its lineup, which he indicated as a departure from the prior predominant focus on expensive original content, which is uncommon among major broadcast networks. But the one thing he doesn't understand is to have high-quality syndicated programming, you have to create that content first. If you don't have content that is eventually syndicated, how the hell are you going to have anything running on your network? So he basically wants to buy shows from other networks that have been previously released and he wants to show that on the CW because it's cost effective and also have unscripted programming so he could have game shows and stuff like that that would be cheaper to make and not have to focus on expensive original scripted content which he obviously sees no value in beyond it being expensive because he's only seeing dollar signs he's not seeing anything creative he doesn't care about the comics he has no interest in that at all and so when he sees something like the flash or legends he's like wow that's expensive don't really care about that it's not making that much money so let's throw it away and the reason it's not making that much money and what the CW did in the past was they actually sold shows like The Flash, Legends, and Batwoman and stuff like that to other streaming networks. But that all kind of went downhill when Warner Brothers created HBO Max because that was just a new home for Warner Brothers initially, like straight away. And so they're not obviously paying for their own content. But like Netflix in the past were paying like a ton of money to have the Arrowverse shows. But obviously with the birth of HBO Max, all of the shows kind of eventually shifted over to there. And that was just like the natural way. But that also took a lot of profits away from the CW that they were initially making. And so now they just don't see any kind of quality or reason to have these expensive shows as he puts it. And so... The article goes on to say, As for the fates of the current CW original shows like All American and Superman Lois, no updates were given on their futures. Carter confirmed, though, that the CW's current owners, Warner Bros. Discovery and Paramount Global, both of them will retain a 12.5% minority stake in the network, will continue to produce original scripted content primarily for the 2022 to 2023 broadcast season beyond that next will extend its creative partnership with the two companies if mutually agreeable so what they're saying here is they're going to continue with their original programming that is scripted 
so like the Flash and Superman and Lois for at least the next year and then after the next year if the creative partnership isn't beneficial to them so basically if it doesn't make them a shit ton of money then Nextel will not extend its creative partnership with them and will create its own content and basically go away from the Arrowverse. That is what they are saying pretty much if you read into it. And so what do you guys think about this? I think this is very infuriating in my opinion because it just makes no sense really. After everything that the CW has built, it's got a reputation, people like it, it's popular. Yes, it doesn't get 10 million viewers each episode of each show, but that's just not what the CW is. It was built on the idea of creating good shows and selling those shows to other streaming networks. So that's what they have to do if they want to make money. So make that content and then sell it elsewhere and that can become syndicated and people will continuously buy from the CW and eventually buy from Nexstar so that they can make some money. But they're not thinking about that because if the creative partnership between them isn't beneficial for them, they're just going to throw it away because now they have a majority hold over the network so they can choose what is created pretty much. So let's hope after the 2022 to 2023 season, it's actually beneficial to keep the shows around. If not, it seems maybe HBO Max could be the new home for the Arrowverse in the future. So that pretty much does it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. But for now, you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. And I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.